I'm Victoria Cooper. I've always had an interest in creating and studying photographs. In my youth, I was guided, although in my youth, I was guided towards uh, seeking a profession in the botanical sciences, I, of which I uh, studied and worked in uh, both human and plant pathology. I've always maintained in this time a, the inspiration and the love of photography in my own personal practice. It wasn't until many years later that I was ultimately able to self-fund my childhood dream and study and work in photo-based mediums. I've worked with a broad palette of what photography can be, from cameraless to camera obscurers, from the analog to the digital processes. Through, the, through my working of the materials and the image making process, I was able to form each of the uh, images and, and ideas into uh, the visual narratives of my artist books. The shape of the book, the form of the narrative were all informed by this intuitive process. Although the book is informed by this intuitive process, I also enjoyed the research and really looking into the background of the underpinning concept or idea or subject that formed the narrative of this book, these books. In my work, I don't work alone. I actually have uh, worked for many years with my partner and collabora collaborator, Doug Spout, who is also a creative thinker and um, maker. We are both teachers. We have an extended practice that involves teaching and writing, critical reviews, and also we publish uh, online and various uh, other forms uh, these, these reviews and writings. In that interesting part of our extended practice where we're writing and reviewing and researching. My particular focus is in the montage. It's polemic, political, philosophical and poetical forms. Uh, what interests me and, and continue and will always interest me in, in my new bodies of work as I create work and as I think about the work of others. I am very, very in, uh, excited to be in this project for World Women's Day. My work is based on the idea of dreaming. And the idea is, for me, dreaming for me is how I process ideas. It is how I think of new perspectives. It allows me time to consider. And in many ways, contemporary life do we really have that kind of time to dream and consider new perspectives and new ideas, internalise them, interrogate them, be with them? Dreaming for me is a very important part of my contemporary and creative practice. In many ways I've always dreamt and worked in, in, in in terms of my pinhole work, I used to enjoy the slowness of that process and the ability to dream through that process was part of how I created those images. Dreaming is also closely related to my montage work. Uh, in many ways, the dreams that we dream are montages and the processing of ideas and things that happen to us during the day come together in wild and crazy dreams. The montage, contemporary montage for me is very interesting, particularly not only in my work but in the work of others and the way ideas are brought together and visually or non-visually through music and even sculpture, the haptic and the texts are really interesting. 
for me and the way and, and form the way I, I make and look at the world today. It is constantly inspiring me to create new work in, in a variety of new ways, both digitally and through traditional photographic processes. So I look forward to seeing how the work develops. This new work I'm looking at has brings together a kind of visual language where I've looked at uh, a person as they are dreaming or thinking or considering the world and I've brought together the symbol of women that uh, this, this uh, event or this project is uh, located on and created a, a visual language of, of dreaming within that image. So I look forward to that being exhibited and, uh, and I look forward to hopefully being there for the project this year.